deep underground lies the resting place of China's first historical dynasty, the Shang. More than 3,000 years after the Shang ruled China, archaeologists and historians are still discovering the secrets and legends of this ancient civilization. Around 1650 BC, the Shang, a Chinese people, gained control of an area in northern China. From there, leaders established the Shang civilization as a collection of city-states, which laid the foundation for 600 years of Shang rule. Until the end of the 19th century, there was no evidence that the Shang even existed. They lived only in myth and legend. But after a chance discovery in 1899, the Shang began to emerge from the shadows. In Peking, a scholar named Wang Yuzhong lay ill. Beside his bed were animal bones that were traditionally ground up and used as medicine. His friend, Yu Ti Yong, noticed strange markings on the bone's surface. Instead of using them, the two scholars began to study them. They had discovered the earliest form of writing ever recorded. After visiting local pharmacies, they found out that the bones had come from a site at a town now called Angyang. Archaeologists began digging at Angyang in 1928 and are still digging today. When they uncovered the last capital city of the Shang dynasty, clues began to reveal who the Shang were and what life in their civilization was like. The inscribed oracle bones revealed that the Shang practiced many traditional rituals and believed strongly in the power of their ancestors' spirits. Shang priests would carve questions into animal bones and tortoise shells, asking about the weather, the harvest, and upcoming military campaigns. Then, they applied heat to the bones or shells, which produced cracks along the surfaces. The priests interpreted the cracks as answers from the gods or messages from their ancestors. <laughs> 